Hello, my name is Manuel Avina, and I am a student at UCSD, majoring in Urban Studies and Planning. I did my senior research thesis project on understanding whether adapting to the U.S. culture and customs was increasing the amount of alcohol abuse and depression among people from different crimes. The reason this is important to study is because 11 million undocumented immigrants are now living in the U.S. Many of them are even being pushed to live in congested parts of cities away from their loved ones. The people of Tungas have a very strong connection with their families and traditions. The sacrifice to migrate to the U.S. really does take an emotional toll on families that will not see each other for long periods of time. This project was binational, meaning that I studied those families migrating to Anaheim and Englewood, California, but also their families that live in Tuncas, Yucatan. So what I did was I looked at 650 interviews from the 2012 research, but without experiencing firsthand what it was like to live in this community, this project wouldn't have been possible. These kind, generous, and compassionate people took us into their homes, and with their stories, we were better able to understand the struggle they faced from leaving family behind. One thing that was found was that there are higher rates of Spanish compared to English and Mayan speakers, meaning that they have yet to be acculturated to U.S. culture. For this indigenous population, many of them are bicultural or even tricultural in their native speaking ability. Because of this, it is really hard to show that acculturation is the biggest problem to alcohol abuse and depression. What was found were higher rates of binge drinking among those speaking English really well or a little, and with those speaking Maya, binge drinking was less prevalent. Something else that was found was that only 27% of people had depressive symptoms when they were away from their families, but this might have been because interviews were taken during the annual cultural celebrations where families on both sides of the border are reunited. Now the question is, so what? Why does this research matter? To start off, there is something about social networks and traditions that protect families from bad mental health. The second is that both sides of the border need to see programs that allow for better communication and reunion between the two communities. These people have welcomed strangers into their communities and at the same time sacrificed so much for their own. So we owe it to them to do something about this. These are beautiful people.